Hello, my name is Marlon John. I'm here with you again today to go over listing, listing a property, how we, we go about doing that in the Stratus system. Well, first of all, you go to listings right here on the left. Again, it may be on the top, all depends on how you have your system set up. You click on list and uh, some of this is pretty self-explanatory, add or edit. So you're adding a new, new listing. It's a uh, residential. Okay. It's in Suffolk. You got to select what, what borough or what, what county, actually what county it's in. Then you click continue, close when adding. So this prompts new listing. It wants you, it's letting you know the benefits of linking it with information that's on public record. So first off, you're gonna you're gonna go at the top. You have the listing. You know what town it is because you took time to sit down, take information from the homeowner. This is an Islip Terrace. So we go with Islip Terrace. Then we go with. Uh, you may want to select the owner's last name or you want to put the street address. So you would go 76 is the number, street name, ocean side. And it'll tell you at the top how many came up. So if it's one, obviously you know the address of your property came up you hit submit right at the top. You don't need to go much further because the property will, would come up. You select the property. Okay. And now you, you, you click at the bottom. You click at the bottom and it will link with the listing. So all the information that's on public record, known to the public, what the county has, county clerk's office has for this property will be populated. So you can see the section, block, lot, district, all the information, the lot size is already populated in here for you. You hit continue. Now, what type of listing you'd like to make this, public or private? And this here information that you're gonna go through filling out on here is the same information that you would fill out on the property data form when taking a listing. So all of these questions right here are the same exact identical questions you will get on the property data form. Okay. So that what type of um, street type maintenance agreement public. So it's a public street. You don't necessarily ha have to fill out the ones that doesn't have a star, but it's also always helpful. You fill out as much accurate information that you have. The ones that does have a star, you have to fill out. So that, that's a must. The system would not allow you to continue without filling that, filling that out. So this is off Broad Street, section block a lot, adult community? No, it's not. School district name, uh, ISIP. If you know the high school or the junior middle school, you'll put that in. Here it asks you for location features. So this is close to, uh, let's see, it's on, on a cul-de-sac, uh, not a horse property. It's close to schools, close to shops, and close to railroads if it is or close to a park 
Again, the reason why you want to put a lot of information as much as possible is because also when you're completed with your listing, the listing also gets placed on a lot of the websites such as Trulia, Zillow, Realtor.com, Redfin, so forth and so on. And putting some a lot of this helpful information would also help generate interest because believe it or not, people look people are looking for a house they take time they read through the listing they read through the information and if it's there if it's hitting all the marks that draws them in more or makes them want to want to call get more information or find out or schedule an appointment with you or an agent that they're working with uh ask you for the property taxes we're going to put twelve thousand. 289 village if there is a village tax you would put that there if it's not you leave it you leave it out included in taxes if you know again if you don't know you don't have this information you could leave it blank but get as much as as as, as possible listing date so when are you listing it listing it today expiration date you're gonna go June 30th, okay? On market date, we're gonna go the same day. On market date, is, is it tells you right here, it explains coming soon versus on market date. Right here, it gives you a breakdown. So you just take your time, go through this nice and slow, Take your time and make sure you fill out each and every criteria. That that this house is two stories. Detach levels, rooms, number of rooms that this house has. Uh, it's a total of let's see, three bedroom, one, two, three, four, seven, eight, nine, ten rooms. How I know. Three bedrooms upstairs, bedroom on the first floor, uh, extra room, actually 12, this has. You got the kitchen, baths, living room, dining room, uh, family room downstairs, utility room. You count all the rooms and you add them up. Total, up, total bedrooms, four. Total rooms finished is what it's asking you. You, you fill that out, total bedrooms is four and total bathrooms two. You put how many kitchens? Again, all, all of this is pretty self-explanatory. Attic, if you have information about the ad attic, if it's a dormer, full, partial attic, pull downstairs. I happen to know this is a pull downstairs you fill that out whatever information S approximate square footage you could put this you may or you may not it's up to you if you want to put that information if you have it again as much as you you have you could you could uh fill in always helps basement finish partial you could put whatever here. We have unfinished, so we'll leave it as unfinished. Interior uh, interior fe features. So if the master bedroom is on the first floor, or does it have a master bath, sauna, or steam room, wall-to-wall -wall carpet, is there an eating kitchen, You guest quarters, formal dining room, these are all features that you you want to you want to list to generate interest marble countertops okay walk-in closet walk-out basement so you fill out as much again same thing includes AC what have you 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 fill all of that out here fireplace you would list if there's any approximate year this house was built 
So you want to put, let's say, 1959. New construction. Obviously, it's not new construction. If it was recently renovated, you may want to list that here. The appearance. Excellent. Now, moving on. Exterior. So if there's any exterior, exterior features or anything that you may want to list, what type of uh, siding is it aluminum? Happen to know this is aluminum siding. If there's any other features to, to this, this property, any green features, you may want to list it right here. Put that down. Then you also have building features, above ground pool, common laundry, existing uh, storms, exiting storms, uh, fire escape, any other features. Again, it's, it's right there. You may want to select it. Parking, happen to know this as a two-car attached garage. Okay. Lot descriptions, lot exposure, exterior features. Again, you go through, take your time. If there's a deck, a, a roof deck, a rear deck, fencing, fenced yard, balcony, what have you, you go through, you list it. Again, same thing for the heating system, same thing for water features. If this, if this was a water uh, property on the water, heating system, sewer, if it's municipal, you put municipal, if it's cesspool. Again, these are all things that you want to list. These are some things that some people may not be familiar with. You get buyers, typically now, uh, this property is in Suffolk, you have buyers from out of town. A lot of people are re relocating from the boroughs, coming out to Long Island. They're not familiar. If it's cesspool, you may want to list, list that. Or septic. Those are things you may want to put out there or, or have listed. And again, same thing for each of these criterias. You want to want to list. Okay. Here's the owner, uh, owner information. Here's the broker. So show status or showing number. You're gonna put five one six. Okay, listing agent. You're gonna wanna put so you put Diego. If there's another listing agent you're going to want to put that agent information right here. Seller's agency. Now, again, if you saw the video with the exclusive rights to sell form, here you would, you would fill out if there's a compensation being rendered to a seller's agency. Same for buyer. Buyer agency compensation, broker agency compensation. So you would fill out each and every one. Okay. Then you fill out which type, exclusive or exclusive right. And we discussed that on the exclusive right to sell uh, listing. So all of that information. All the forms, all that information is what you're putting in right here. Negotiate directly, yes or no. That means would the, the broker or the other agent that's showing the property, when they're negotiating or putting forth an offer, are they going to be able to speak with the homeowner 
the seller directly or they have to go through you. That is something you would like to speak with the seller directly about beforehand so you know how this is handled. Offer presentation. Offer presentation. Can the broker or agent that's putting forth an offer, can they be present? Can be present or cannot be present? Okay, and if they cannot, then you need some sort of disclosure from signifying that they, not, they cannot and the owner has to agree to it, okay? So now you would fill out showing instructions, any information you would want, want to give. Is there a lockbox? Again, that's on the seller's, seller's right, seller's exclusive right to sell uh, agreement that are you putting a lockbox or no? That information would be on here. Again, it doesn't have to be on here, but you want to fill out uh, as much information as possible. No, it's not also for rent. We're not renting. We're looking to sell. Is this a foreclosure, REO? No, it's not. Is it superseded by another another listing or MLS number? No, it's not. Do you want to explain? Do you want to display the address on the internet? And again, as I explained, these listings go out because you want to publicly market and do it the best possible job. And Stratus now makes it easy for us to put this out there to the public where we could put it on Zillow. We could send the listings to Realtor.com and a few other sites that are out there. If you, if you now have like a virtual tour, you could upload, the, upload that here. If you want to do an open house, you could click open house. When would the first open house be? And then uploading photos. Photos, you could upload, and if the house is in a flood zone, then you could you can up upload and, and place if it's in a flood zone or not. This is this video is a bit lengthier because this is much more detailed oriented. So please, when when doing a listing, take your time, go through line by line, and fill out as much information as possible.